I was correct in saying this, so unless it updated since a couple days ago when I checked it, um, it expanded product targeting is available in bulk sheets, which is awesome. Uh, the not so great part is that you can't actually push updates to bids um, in expanded targeting. They are working on that. They're aware of the disconnect. Sometimes new ad types roll out and the other team who's working on the back end with the bulk files uh, just hasn't, it, they just have to update. Um, their systems, which they haven't quite yet. So right now, the only real benefit of using bulk sheets for expanded product targeting is going to be um, for data analysis. So that's great. Um, for those in the audience who aren't aware what expanded targeting is, I may expand on that. So everyone knows sponsored products, product targeting. We know and love it. We know it shows up underneath the buy box. Um, if you go and look at the search term reports in relation to ACE and your targeting, you will only show up on that that specific child ASIN page, um, which is great. That's actually not the case for sponsored display ads. If you run product targeting and sponsored display ads, you will show up for all of the different variations, which is kind of an interesting twist. Um, but Amazon recently released expanded targeting, which basically says, hey, I know um, I want to target this ASIN. Also show me for ASINs that are like this product. So if you have a ASIN that you're absolutely crushing placement on that page, probably makes uh, sense to also launch that in extended targeting. So Amazon can kind of take a look at that original ASIN you're working on um, and then show you on other, again, like um, brand pages. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to Seller App's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.